Is Football Manager 2022 too easy? Well, the answer is no. And here's why. But before we get into that, if you enjoy Football Manager subscription, subscriptions? If you enjoy Football Manager content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So is Football Manager 2022 too easy? I don't think so. First off, we're still in the beta. This isn't the finished game. There's going to be changes. They're going to tweak the match engine. You know SI are going to sort out some of the issues that we're finding here in the beta and the heading and crossing is probably going to get nerfed. So I don't think it's fair to judge if Football Manager is too easy based on the beta. But Football Manager is a game that you dictate how difficult it is. You'll see a lot of content creators, a lot of people will be playing with bigger sides, sides that are potentially a bit more easier to manage because it's the beta, because it's a new game. We're trying to see if anything's changed with how our tactics work. And for example, I'm doing Man United on my Twitch channel. The link will be down in the description if you want to come and hang out live. And if you look here, we've lost one game, we've drawn another game, and the rest have been scoring goals for fun, really. 7-0 against Crystal Palace, 6-0 against Oxford. I did play my full strength team against them for fun. And another reason it might seem a bit easy at the moment is because some of the transfers that we're making during the beta period, it's one of the few chances we actually get to make content using the likes of Mbappe and Haaland and SMS. So that's why we go out and sign them. Because it's fun to use these guys before we get stuck into our bit more challenging saves. Another reason I think some people might think the game is easy is because some of the content that people like me put out. I recently put out a video about the tactic that I'm using on my beta save and because it did well and you know it's a 4-2-3-1 you know there's nothing special about it people might think oh they look at that tactic game's the same old game it's easy and it's potentially similar with other tactic videos out there because nobody's going to put out a tactic video about a tactic that's not good. All the tactic videos that you're going to see are tactics that are working, that will do well, that will win games. I don't think I've ever seen a video where a tactic has performed badly. Let me know down in the comments if that's something that you want to see. Believe me, I have plenty of tactics that have bombed. Like, terribly. So it may seem like the new game is easier, but I think it's just because of the type of content that you're seeing. The great thing about Football Manager is you can make this game as difficult as you want. And that's purely down to you and how you set up your game. If you choose to be a Man United, an AC Milan, not Barcelona anymore, a Liverpool, a PSG, those saves are going to be easier because you have really good players there and those guys will fit into most tactics that are out there. However, if you choose a team that's a bit more out there, like a Genk, which is going to be my main series that I do, over in Belgium, then the game is going to be much harder because you won't have the players. You won't have the players that will be able to play all the different tactics. If you go down to non-league, most of the fancy tactics are out of the question. And when you go to these types of clubs, you can't just go out and recruit the best players. You have to spend a bit more time finding bargains, finding free transfers, loans. The game gets much more difficult if you set yourself a difficult challenge. And when you start to find those challenges a bit easy, because you will, You'll get better at the game, you'll know how to read the match engine, you'll know how to do scouting. You'll be able to get and recruit all these young new gen talents coming to your club and your team will get better. That's just the way the game is. You can then set yourself challenges. There are people that do youth only challenges, so you can't actually buy any players. You can only play the players that come through your youth setup. There's challenges where you move around to different clubs, so you have to rebuild the team, try and win as many trophies as possible. So if the game does become too easy for you, Congratulations, you've leveled up. Now let's try and make the game a bit more difficult. So those are some reasons why I think you can't really judge the difficulty of the beta and you can't really judge the difficulty of FM in general. Anyway guys, let me know what you think. Let me know how you have been finding the beta. Let me know how you try to challenge yourself playing the game down in the comments below. I love reading all your comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And cheerio.